Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to start by a new chapter which is alkanes. The objectives to be covered in this chapter are Define hydrocarbons Distinguish between saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons Recognize the term first alkanes with straight chain Distinguish between the different types of representation of an alkane Recognize branched chain alkanes and finally identify alkyl groups Hydrocarbons this name can be divided into two groups, two parts. The first part is hydro, which means hydrogen, and the second part, which is carbons, which means carbon. So the definition of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are organic compounds made up only of carbon and hydrogen elements. They are represented by the general formula C, X, H, Y. Which among the following organic compounds are hydrocarbons? Pause the video and try to solve this question. We said that hydrocarbons are organic compounds which are made up of carbon and hydrogen only as this molecule. So this is a hydrocarbon. For this molecule, we have chlorine without hydrogen. So it's not a hydrocarbon. For this one, this is a hydrocarbon since we have carbon and hydrogen only. The same for this one and the last one. All the remaining organic compounds are not hydrocarbons since we have oxygen beside the hydrogen and carbon. Hydrocarbons can be classified in two, two groups. The first group is saturated hydrocarbons and the second one is unsaturated hydrocarbons. What is the difference between these two groups? First of all, saturated hydrocarbons are hydrocarbons where all the bonds between carbon atoms are single covalent bonds. So when all the, at the bonds between carbon atoms are single covalent bond, we are talking here about saturated. But when we talk about unsaturated hydrocarbons, and we have at least one double covalent bond or triple covalent bond. In this case, the hydrocarbon is said to be unsaturated. Which of the following hydrocarbons are unsaturated? We have to look at the bonds between the carbon atoms. Here, we have triple covalent bonds, so it's not a, a saturated hydrocarbons. For this compound, all the uh, bonds between carbon atoms are single covalent bonds, so this compound is saturated hydrocarbons. This one is unsaturated hydrocarbons since we have a double covalent bond. For the fourth organic compound, this is a saturated hydrocarbon since all the bonds between carbons is, are a single covalent bond and the same for the last organic compound. Saturated hydrocarbons can be classified into alkanes open with open chain and cycloalkanes which are alkane with closed chains or cyclic alkane. So also alkanes with open chain can be classified into alkane with a straight chain and alkane with branched chain. But the general formula of these two groups is CnH2n plus 2, while the general formula for cycloalkanes is CnH2n. Now, the first 10 alkanes with a straight chain of a general formula CnH2n plus 2 are the following. For the first one, we replace n by 1. When replacing n in the general formula by 1, we get the methane with the general formula or the molecular formula CH4. For the second one, we replace the number of carbon n by 2. In this case, we get ethane of molecular formula C2H6. If you look at the names of these alkanes, you can notice that all of these names end by ane. So, methane for the first alkane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, and etc. And represent the number, the number of carbon atoms in the molecule. The representation of hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon can be represented by its molecular formula or by its structural formula or by its condensed structural formula. What is the difference between these representations? In the molecular formula, 
Each atom that constitutes the hydrocarbon is represented followed by an index that shows the number of this atom in the molecule. Example for CH4. In CH4, you can notice that in this formula, atoms that constitute the molecule and the index that show the number of each of these atoms in the molecule. The same for C2H4, we have the atoms that constitute the molecule and the number of each atom in this molecule. For the structural formula, all atoms that constitute the hydrocarbon and all the bonds between them are represented as this example here. All the bonds are represented and all the atoms that constitute the molecule. While in condensed structural formula, we uh, represent each carbon atom with its hydrogen uh, are written as a group so if uh, you look at this uh, condensed structural formula here we have two carbon atoms each carbon is surrounded by three hydrogen atoms so and the carbon and the hydrogen that surround it are represented as one group in the condensed structural formula we can represent the bond between two carbon atoms or not so these two formula are called condensed structural formula now in this application we have to indicate the type of representation in each case so for the first one all the bonds between atoms are represented and all the atoms in the molecule are represented so it's structural formula in the second one it's only the atoms that reconstitute the molecule are represented and the index that show the number of each atom in the molecule so it's a molecular formula here in the last two representation uh, you can see that each carbon with its uh, hydrogen that's around it are represented as a group so it's a condensed structural formula but in this one the bonds are not represented in the last one the bonds between carbon atom at are represented so they represent condensed structural formula the same for the last one now let's add, uh, solve together exercise 8 page 240 in this exercise we ask uh, us to correct the following structural formulas with respect to the missing hydrogen atoms knowing that carbon is a tetravalent atom what do we mean tetravalent if you remember that carbon has a valence which is which is equal to 4 so to verify its octet rule it uh, has to make four single covalent bond or to share four pairs of electrons. For the first carbon here, this carbon makes three single covalent bonds with three hydrogen atoms and one single covalent bond with carbon atoms so it verifies its octet. For this one it makes two single covalent bond with two carbon and three covalent bond with three hydrogen so it makes five single covalent bonds so we have to uh, take one hydrogen for this carbon to verify its octet rule for this one one two three it needs one hydrogen for this one we have two and two so it verifies its octet for this one we have four single covalent bond for this one we have three and one four three and one four for the last one we have one and two three so it needs uh, one hydrogen carbon for this one uh, this carbon makes two single covalent bond one with hydrogen and the other with the chlorine and one single covalent bond with carbon so it needs one a hydrogen for this one we have two single covalent bonds with hydrogen and two single covalent bond with each carbon so it verifies its octet for this one also it verifies its, uh, its octet for this one we have one two three and four so uh, the formula is correct now for this one for the four uh, the first uh, carbon we have three and one four for this one we have one two three four five so we have to take one hydrogen F for the third carbon we have here two hydrogen and two single covalent bonds with carbon so it verifies its, uh, its octet we have one two three it needs needs another hydrogen this one is correct one two three so it needs also one hydrogen 
Now, branched chain alkanes. What is the difference between straight chain alkanes and the branched chain alkanes? Both have the same general formula, but the difference is in the structural formula. The structural formula of a branched chain alkane is made up of two parts, the main chain and one or more branches. What is the main chain? The main chain is the longest straight chain in the formula. That means that the one uh, which contains the greatest number of carbon atoms, while the branches or alkyl group uh, an alkyl group is obtained when one hydrogen atom is dropped from an alkane. It has a general formula CnH2n plus 1 because we dropped one hydrogen atom. These groups represent the branches which are attached to the main chain by single covalent bonds. The name of an alkyl group is the same as the corresponding alkanes by replacing the ending ane by L. Like this. Here, to determine the main chain, we said that the main chain is the chain that contains the greatest number of carbon. We have to count the carbon atoms which are uh, placed successively. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So the longest chain is the chain that contains 6 atoms You can choose one of these longest chain Now all the other group represents the ramification or alkyl group What are the alkyl groups? We said that alkyl groups have the general formula with, which is CnH2n plus 1. So to get the different alkyl groups, we have to replace n by different numbers. The first alkyl group is obtained when replacing n by 1 and we get the methyl. We said that the name of the alkyl group is get from the corresponding alkane by replacing the suffix Ain by L. So it's methyl and the, the molecular formula or the formula of this, of this alkyl group is CH3 by replacing N by 1. The same for ethyl by replacing N by 2. For propyl, we replace N by 3. But for propyl, we have two propyl. Propyl, one propyl or isopropyl, which is called also two propyl. These two alkyl groups have the same number of carbon, but what is the difference between them? The difference is the atom which is attached to the main chain. If the atom at the extremity of the chain is the, the one that is attached to the main chain, the group, alkyl group, is called one propyl. If the central atom is attached to the main chain, the alkyl group is called isopropyl or two propyl. So it depends to the carbon which is attached to the main chain. Now, a summary. We studied in this lesson that hydrocarbons are organic compounds made up of carbon and hydrogen only, and that in saturated hydrocarbons, all the bonds between carbon atoms are single covalent bonds. The general formula of a straight chain and the branched chain alkane is CnH2n plus 2 for both. A branched chain alkane is made up of two parts, the main chain and the branches or alkyl group, and the general formula of alkyl group is CnH2n plus 1. Of course, you have to to memorize the name of the ten, uh, first 10 alkanes and the name of the alkyl group. And thanks for watching and for the next time.